my dear sisters and brothers the two scripture readings the first from the book of acts chapter 1 and then the gospel from saint matthew both the scripture readings give us a new purpose in living what am i living for a question today many people do not know because of their ignorance they live for the wrong purposes for the wrong reasons and many do not live at all if you and i are not living for a purpose we are not living at all we are not here on this earth to eat and drink and sleep and enjoy and make a lot of money and become famous and rot in the mud of the earth that's what animals are living for for the pleasures and beauties of this earth you and i are citizens of heaven children of god the purpose for our life jesus said is to bear witness to him praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah let's all raise our hands and say praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my dear sisters and brothers jesus said you shall be my witnesses to the ends of the earth so we have a message to give a mission to fulfill on this earth every day when i get up when you get up you and i shall know a new day is given to us for a purpose to bear witness to jesus christ whoever we meet wherever we go we have a mission to fulfill a message to give to give to every sad person to every sick person every broken family every person living without meaning of life that jesus is the ultimate meaning of life to live for jesus is the beauty of living because to live for jesus is to live for love it is in jesus that we find the ultimate expression of love and we make that love the style of our living and that is the message you and i have to give to our senseless world in the gospel today the lord is using two little parables jesus said you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world to become salt what does salt do salt adds taste to the food without salt the food is tasteless and today life for many is become tasteless meaningless you and i shall know there are hundreds and thousands of human beings living around us sitting in the school rooms working in the office thousands who do not know what they are living for they have no taste of life no meaning for life no joy in living it is you and i who should be telling them jesus is the beauty of living live for jesus believe in the lord jesus what saint paul said to the soldier in the jail it was dark and there was an earthquake in that commotion saint paul bore witness to jesus and that too to an impossible man a soldier in the prison guarding paul and silas as prisoners to that soldier paul said 
believe in the Lord Jesus, you and your family will be saved in every circumstance to every person we have a message to give because Jesus said, you and I, we are the salt of the earth. Jesus also said, you are the light of the world. We know it's a dark world that we are living in. Darkness of sin, of hatred, of revenge, of envy, of lust is reigning out there in the world. And we shall be the light, the light of Jesus Christ to invite them to live in the light and for the light. We are the salt of the earth and light of the world. It is this challenge that we take up today. The challenge to bear witness to Jesus. To the challenge to become missionaries. Missionary means a man, a woman with a mission, with a message to live as missionaries every moment of our life. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to take up this challenge today. We should know what we are living for, who we are living for, who is the leader, who is the source of joy and power for every one of us. Unfortunately, we have failed. We have failed in our mission, in our mission to give Jesus. We proclaimed Jesus. We bore witness to him, to that sick person, to this dying person, to that broken family. Jesus did not work. Jesus did not work. They did not accept the message that man was not healed. This man did died anyway that sad man continues to be sad the message of jesus the power of jesus did not work and we gave up we gave up jesus is not good anyway to this world everybody is under the thick blanket of darkness and sin and indifference jesus does not work and we gave up and that is our trouble. That's our trouble. If I were as smart as that boy, I should have known Jesus works. The message of Jesus changes and fills hearts. I did not know this. We did not know this. And therefore, we stopped proclaiming Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, we take up the challenge. We take up the challenge to proclaim Jesus once again to everyone around us. Jesus is the joy of living. Jesus is the power of living. Jesus is the beauty of living. To have Jesus is the best thing that could happen to us. As we experience that power in the moments of our sadness, in the moments of our sickness, in the moments of our troubles, we need to turn to Jesus and experience the power of the salvation of Jesus. Once we have it in our hearts, we will give, we will proclaim. And that's why Jesus is asking us a question. If the salt has lost its taste, what good is it for? If the salt has lost its taste, what good is it for? If the lamp is kept under the bushel, it is part of the darkness around. And that's our problem. We have lost our taste. Our light is under the bushel. And therefore, like him and him and her, all of us continue to live in darkness, in despair, in sadness, in suicidal tendencies, in sin, in unholy relationships, imagining that little kick of the flesh is the beauty of living. That little money is the joy of living. That little applause from my friends, that is what I must be living for. We are, we are misunderstanding life. Because we do not know the greater beauty that Jesus is. We need to have the salt. We need to have 
the light what shall we do every day we must find time to be with jesus god said taste and see how good god is every day we need to taste and see how good god is in our prayer in our prayer we must wait upon god wait upon god to experience his love flowing into us there are people who say oh jesus um what is he is jesus real what is he what does he do to us we do not know this because we never waited upon jesus in prayer waiting for his love to flow into our hearts remember jesus said revelation 3:20 behold i stand at the door of your heart and i wait knocking knocking if you open the door to me i will come and make your life a celebration make your life a celebration that's a promise at every moment a god is waiting knocking and we never heard it even if we heard it we never opened the door we did not let jesus in and we remain empty and dark and sad and sinful even today the promise is i will come in and make your life a celebration at the moment i failed in my exam at the moment i failed in a project at the moment i failed in my business i should have listened to the knock of jesus at that moment of sad failure jesus was knocking he wanted to come in he wanted to turn all that sadness to joy we never heard the knock we did not care to hear the knock we did not pray we did not wait in prayer in the moments of our sadness and we continue to be sad the unfortunate moments of failure in our past remain even today memories sad memories in our hearts when your friend failed you when your friend deceived you when your friend walked away from you you were sad broken dark you did not know where to turn to you and i we never turned to jesus since we never turned to jesus in prayer we did not hear the knock of jesus we did not let him in and even today all those experiences remain dark unfortunate and angry and bitter memories of the past when you and i we were tempted say your friend invited you to drink to a wrong type of party when there was a obscene program on the tv you were tempted to watch it you were tempted to keep a hatred in your heart at that moment of temptation at that moment of temptation jesus was knocking he wanted to come in he wanted to come in and make our life celebration giving us the power to say no to sin we did not open the heart we did not let him in we remained weak and therefore satan had the upper hand we committed the sin it remains even today even today in our hearts as a guilty memory my dear sisters and brothers jesus he's knocking all the time he's knocking all the time to come in to turn everything to a good there's a promise romans 8:28 romans 8:28 for those who love god god turns everything to their good when do we know that we love god we let him into our life we let him into our life to turn everything to our good a sadness to joy a temptation to power a failure to success a uh, sin to forgiveness the lord is waiting to do this for us that is the salt 
that is the light the light of jesus enlightening me the salt of jesus giving taste to my life we need to do this my dear sisters and brothers in prayer waiting for jesus at every moment of our life for jesus to enter into my heart and to turn everything to my good for this every day we begin our day in prayer we begin our day in prayer how do we begin our day different people begin the day differently some people begin the day brushing the teeth it is bad for the brush and bad for the teeth you know why early morning when you wake up you are all tense for one thing you are tense because you open the eyes at all you're still asleep and you take that brush and you and you begin to brush your teeth with all that tension the other day here somebody was brushing the teeth early morning and and in no time he began to brush his eyes as well you know uh, when we are tense uh, we do not know what we are doing well with all that tension if you brush the teeth well all that power is going to go into your gums and your teeth and the dentist will profit a wrong way to begin the day there are others who begin the day uh, drinking black coffee the whole day will be dark as you begin so the day continues there are others who begin the day reading newspaper what news do papers give papers always give bad news wrong news sad news mad news because they want to give you a kick and all the kick that comes to us is from the wrong one unfortunately we don't get a kick anymore from good now all the kick that comes to us today is from the wrong one if you read the newspaper in empty stomach you're bound to get ulcer in your stomach and depression to your mind begin the day looking at the face of the lord as psalm 34 tells us look at him and your faces will become radiant look at the lord and and read the good news praise god begin the day with the name of jesus jesus you are my lord you are my god thank you jesus for this new day you know one thing thousands of people went to bed yesterday they did not open the eyes this morning they are dead they are dead thousands of people die in their sleep and yet we open the eyes uh, at least half and we are sitting here in the presence of god well we open the a new day is given to us a new day with new possibilities with new blessings with great things to do we praise god for everything after praising god we need to open the bible it is just some brothers the bible this bible is not a book it is the word it is the voice st paul tells us the word of god is living is active it is the voice of god so what am i to do it's not enough to read the bible we need to wait to listen to the bible the challenge is to make the reading of the bible a hearing of the voice and so it's not enough simply to read we need to wait upon god wait upon god to hear the voice god is speaking to me this is the only book ever written that has the promise and the promise is i will speak to your heart i will speak to your heart god is waiting to speak to our hearts and therefore before we open the bible we must pray to the holy spirit speak to me 
what prophet samuel prayed speak to me lord your servant is listening a listening heart waiting to listen to god's voice god speaking to me to console me to comfort me to strengthen me to encourage me to convict me of my sin to empower me the voice of god the word of god flowing into my heart i need to wait to listen as we read you know my sisters and brothers as we read certain words certain verses will stand out in bright light dwell on that particular verse repeat it again and again that will become an experience in your heart a power in your heart joy in your heart peace in your heart love in your heart and then continue reading uh, uh pope pope benedict the 16th is speaking a lot about lexio divina the divine way of reading the word the divine way of reading the word read prayerfully word after word verse after verse and you will hear god speaking to you giving you a message every time you read now reading the word of god every day and then offer the whole day to god you may have to go somewhere you may have to do something you may have to meet someone offer them to god offer them to god and wait for the holy spirit i will not leave you alone is a promise to be fulfilled in every one of us every day morning in the morning begin the day claiming that promise my god is there for me the holy spirit is there filling my heart wait for the holy spirit and then begin the day the whole day will be sunny there could be dark patches dark clouds but you will be able to handle it because you have become the light and then you go out you have the light of jesus someone comes to you and tells you that he or she is sad you have the light you have the joy to give him tell him of jesus someone comes to you telling you of a problem you have the light of jesus tell him of jesus listen to him give them the love of jesus to everyone around to everyone around we have a message to give the light to spread we are missionaries because we have a mission praise the lord let's all raise our hands and say praise the lord yeah. hallelujah. 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 hallelujah 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 my dear sisters and brothers i remember um, a lady who came here uh, she said father i'm come here for a retreat i'm so happy now i have accepted jesus as the lord and savior of my heart jesus has become my joy jesus has become my, my peace jesus has become my power i'm going back as a new person but father when i go back my house is in darkness because she said the husband was a drunkard he comes home drunk every day he disturbs the peace of the family he suspects her and there's always a fight and the children are all in in turmoil she said father i'm frightened to go back home my home is a hell i told her my sister you are going to make that hell of your home a heaven for you for your husband and for your children that darkness of your family is going to be turned to light because you are going with the light i told her never be afraid of darkness you know my dear friends never be afraid of evil never be afraid of hatred never be afraid of darkness now because darkness is feeble evil is feeble you just light a little lamp little light little lamp all the thickest of darkness will be dispelled in no time what is needed 
is to light the lamp in every dark place and we have the light we have the power we have the secret to make this world beautiful and that conviction must be strong in our hearts i told her my sister never be afraid of the sin of the addiction of your husband you have the power to change him the power of jesus the power of jesus she asked me father what shall i do she got a new hope for a future i told her pray for your husband pray for your husband and fast fast once a week for your husband and wait wait for what is going to happen to him and the lord will guide you i said never give up we give up easily never give up in your fight with evil with darkness never give up in the power of the lord continue your fight she went back later she told me um she fasted and prayed for one full month one day a week praying for the husband at the end of the one month she said father the change was in me rather than in my husband i asked her what was the change in you she said i felt the power of the holy spirit let us not be um betrayed let's not be deceived by people who come to us in the name of other churches we belong to jesus and to the church that jesus founded the church of jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers we are beginning a new life today in the power and light of jesus